everybody. Thanks for checking in today. We are going to work on a special craft today uh, called paper mache or tissue paper flower pots. My name is Nikki. I'm going to go ahead and give you all of the instructions and the ingredients that you'll need today. And if you need to pause the video at any time, just hit pause on there, take care of what you need, grab your ingredients or work through a step, and then just go ahead and hit play when you're ready to start again. So today we are going to make uh, tissue paper flower pots and I started this one so you guys could see what it looks like at the very end But the other side of my flower pot is not quite finished So that's what we're gonna work on today so you can see each of the steps and then you'll have a whole finished product that you can Give away to someone you can keep it in your room do whatever you'd like So I'm gonna give you the list of ingredients if you need to take a second walk around the house grab everything you need and then come back and we'll get started the first thing you're gonna want is obviously a flower pot. It works best with a terracotta, that's this brown orangish color, or with any kind of ceramic flower pot. So if you wanna go big, you'll just need a lot more ingredients. If you wanna start small, that's okay too. We're gonna to have lots of different colored tissue paper. I have yellow and red and pink here. If you have other colors, you can pick your favorite colors. If you wanna do a whole rainbow of colors, then your pot will be very colorful. If you wanna just stick to your favorites like I did, that's fine too. What I did with my tissue papers, I just cut them into small little squares. You can cut yours, you can tear yours in half. Regular tissue paper, just like you wrap a present with for your birthday, that's all you need. You can cut it into hearts or circles, whatever you'd prefer. Then you just need some good old fashioned school glue, pretty easy. You're just gonna dump that into any kind of a container that you can use. If you have a bowl that you wanna throw away at the end, you don't need a whole bottle of glue, just a little bit at a time. And then you need a paintbrush. Foam brush works well, uh, regular paintbrush, anything that you can find is great. Once you've found all of your ingredients, you're gonna take your pot and anywhere that's empty, we're just gonna do this a few sections at a time so you can really see what the process looks like and so that it doesn't get too sticky or too messy all at once. You'll take your paintbrush, dip that in your glue, and then you're just gonna paint right onto your pot in small sections. And it's okay if the glue sits there for a while it's okay if it's not perfect. It's okay if a little bit drips on the tablecloth that you've put down. Any of that is okay. So I'm just putting the glue down. I'm gonna let it sit there. It'll stay nice and sticky for quite a bit of time. You wanna make sure you get glue right on the top ledge here. And if you want it to be on the bottom of your pot too, make sure you put some glue down there. Once you're done, you can set your glue aside and you're just gonna start picking up pieces of tissue paper. If you've cut them into different shapes, that's great. If you have a certain pattern you want to use, that's fine too. I decided to just put mine down in all different colors. So it kind of looks like a, a tile or um, something that you might see on like a bathroom backsplash. So it's pretty easy. You just take a few pieces at a time, lay them down in whatever pattern you'd like. It is okay if not all of them stick down. Like some of my ends are sticking up here that's not a problem. It's okay if it's not perfect. It's okay if you accidentally grab two pieces and you need to move them over. It's almost prettier if you kind of make a mistake and then just move it to somewhere else. So we're gonna take a couple minutes. If I'm going faster than you, you can go ahead and pause, catch up to where you wanna be and then just hit play and start again whenever you're ready. But we're just gonna keep covering up that glue that you put down. Once you get that first section put together, then you can just spin it a little bit, keep adding glue as you go around the pot. Just do them a few sections at a time so that the glue that's on your pot already doesn't dry out too fast. And if it does, then you just have to add a little bit more glue, no problem. Almost done. Got a few more pieces here. And you can see quite a few of mine, the ends are sticking up and they're definitely not on there perfectly, but that is okay. So you can kind of tell from where you're looking, these are the ones that I just put on here. Like I said, definitely not perfect. But what we're gonna do, we'll take our glue again. 
you just need a little bit on your brush at a time and you just slowly start painting right over the pieces that you put down. If they move a little bit, that's okay. The beauty of this is you can just go right back in and stick another piece of paper down over it. But we're almost gonna cover the whole thing again in a second layer of glue. This will keep the tissue paper from moving off or from falling off, and it kind of presents, or kind of puts a small protective barrier on the paper so that if it gets wet or if it gets dirty, it's a little bit easier to clean up. So you can see I'm just pushing down on the spots that I, whoop, see that one came up a little bit. And we're just gonna keep pushing it down and smoothing things out. Some of them are layered a little bit more and some of them are really flat. Don't forget this top part here. There we go. All right, so I got all of that new tissue paper covered up. You can still see a white layer of glue. And what we need to do now is just take a few minutes and wait. This much glue on the top of all this paper will take a couple of hours to dry. So if you keep working in small sections around your flower pot and then set it out in a windowsill or out in the sunshine, that will help it dry faster. Um, and then you can just have a little bit of patience and wait to see. This section here that I showed you earlier, this is the section that I worked on at home. So you can see the difference between the wet glue over on the side and the dry glue on the front. And you can tell, I can rub my hands on it and none of the pieces move. And you can still sort of see the pattern of the flower pot behind it. So this is a little bit of what it will look like once it's dry. Now, if you finished, we're not gonna finish the whole flower pot now, but you can get an idea of what it'll look like. If you finished and you have some soil at home or there's some dirt out in the garden you wanna grab, then you can just start filling that up. Maybe grab some flower seeds or if you wanna grow um, a tomato plant or some vegetables out there, you just start filling that up. Get your dirt from whatever you need, plant your seeds, and then you have a beautiful flower pot to keep for yourself, to give away if you'd like, or to share with someone else. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks so much for stopping by and have a great rest of your day.